Hey, what is up, everybody? This is your boy, No and Chef Mark, with yet another Star Trek Fleet Command video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Viscerator, the new battleship for the game, the Armada Taunt King. I don't know what to call it, but it's something that came in the game. But before we get into the video, do like, subscribe, hit that bell notification down below. Don't forget to leave a comment. If you guys do want to donate, please go ahead. So, we have a new ship in the game called the Viscerator. So, the Viscerator is going to be a PV or PV. To PVE ship for armadas. Its main ability is going to be taunt. At the start of combat, opponent armada will target the vix, vix, uh, vind vindicator for twenty rounds. Upgrade the vin uh, vindicator is increased taunt duration sixty one point thirty minutes or sixty one minutes and thirty seconds at tier eighteen and decreases the taunt cooldown to zero at eighteen. So right here it says. Its other abilities increases weapon damage by 5% for 5 rounds. Each time you're hit by an armada, cumulative weapon is will be multiplied. Shots will only trigger this ability once per attack. This one's always active. This one's a click button. And then we have, it's an M level, kind of like the Stella. It's going to have an M score, which is going to be interesting. We'll go over that in a minute. And it's warp range, 152 starts is low, impulse is going to be low. But as a description, it's equipped with a patented new technology. The Vis Vindicator uses extra dimensional interface to overload the enemy's sensors, making the, it the primary target. The Vindicator harvests energy from the subsequent onslaught to increase the power of its own weapons. This ship is built to take damage and return it with vengeance. All right. So it requires 200 BPs. And of course, it's right now a pay for ship. But in the coming months, there's going to be a way to get it for well free to play method as you see right here we click on the m score we have a whole new starship area for it here's the warp distance it goes 200 or 20 to 400 warp depending on the tier of it then we have vindicator taunt damage increases vindicator base damage versus armadas always the taunt ability then we have vindicator shield repair increases the vindicator shield hp every round when fighting armadas that's pretty cool then we have the isolate defense for all ship increases base isolate defense for all ships, which helps out going against our hostiles that actually have, uh, well, isolate it, kind of like G6 mobs, which kind of hurts. We have Vindicator Shield Management, increases the Vindicator Shield Mitigation, or Mitigation of Management, <laughs> sorry guys, uh, versus Armada while using the Taunt ability. And then we have Vindicator Ship HP, same kind of thing, increases it. Then we have Combat Hull Repair versus Solar Armadas. This is an all-around one, repairs a percentage of the damage taken in the previous round of combat of the Solar Armadas, 2%, all the way down to 15%. That's pretty cool, actually. Then we have more Federation Armada, Klingon Armada, and uh, Romulan Armada for it. The next one is Isolated Damage versus Armada, which is going to be an all-around one, which is increases Isolated Damage versus Armadas for all ships. Then we have the Vindicator Taunt versus Solar Armadas, Here's the Vindicator's base damage versus Solar Armada, so it's 500%, all the way to 500. Okay, that makes it cool for solos. Then we have, I think these are G6 related, increases Vindicator hazard resistance, so that's going to be cool. That's actually pretty cool, actually, when you get it up there. I'm not sure how to get the particle. The particle is from the Vindicator refinery. Then we have this one, increase, uh, Vindicator ultimate plating. Increase the Vindicator base isolated damage with G6 solo armadas while using taunt ability. I must say they messed that up, but they didn't. All right, so let's actually take a build of the ship. So it's going to be G4, 40 plus ship, of course. It's going to have, um, it's going to cost G4 commons to start, got 16.2 billion trit and 7.8 million dilithium. So we'll hit the build. All right, we're not going to wait. We're definitely not going to wait on this one. So we're going to speed the build up. Boom. Yeah, it should cost me a little latinum, even though I'm running low on latinum. Boom. Here is the Vindicator coming out of the dock. To me, it does not look like a Star Trek ship. Kind of looks like it's out of another like sci-fi fantasy. I'm not sure which one, but it doesn't look Star Trek-esque to me. Or it might be something from like another Star Trek out there at one point. So here is the Vindicator. Hey. And you have it's in cells, it's warp. It looks like a compact ship. Just small. Kind of just looks like it would be, I don't know, like on the Evacos or something. But it is a 
interesting idea for a ship for the armadas when you get this thing leveled up it's going to help you greatly especially with its refinery which we're going to take a look at right now first actually no we're going to take a look at the ship so right here the vindicator prize a unique uh advantage against armadas activates the taunt ability to overload armadas weapon sensors to become the primary target the unfettered revenge ability harvests energy from incoming attacks to increase the vindicator's damage pool then we have earn space work circuits to use the vindicator refinery refinery includes vindicator parts uh something data i can't say it interdimensional data to upgrade the ship lorcas fleet commander shards officer shards armada cooldown speed ups temporal disruptors and more boom so leave that ship there for a minute because i'm using it so we're going to grab the ship it is right here look at the upgrade on it so i see right here unfettered weapons Unfettered weapons, 5%. I don't think it's going to go up anything for the first bit. Get to 5. Yeah, 25%, which is, that's an increase. And then you see right here, requires the Vindicator parts to upgrade the ship. So they were saying it wasn't going to be that hard to upgrade the ship, but I'm not 100% on it. Let's look, look at the refinery, though. So the refinery's all the way down here. And as you see right here, we have 100 of the... Space works. You can get you guaranteed 175 parts, guaranteed 35 uh, interdimensional data, 160 temporal disruptors, and 2,000 armada. Okay, that's kind of cool. So think. This little one is kind of cool. But the next one I think I'm going to be more excited for is this one right here. So you guys who don't have like Sloan, Lorca, or any of the fleet commanders, you have a chance of earning them through here. And as you see right here, it says drop roll each. Pull contains one shard of Gabriel Lorca and Sloan as of. Well, three shards of Kirk, Captain Kirk, or Captain Spock, Locutus 7 and 9, and Janeway. In addition and above, this claim contains the following. Tier 1, 60 Fleet Commander, uh, blah, blah, blah. So you have, like, it goes up at Tier 2. It gives you those options. So these are guaranteed pulls, which, amazing. As you a level Vindicator up, it increases the pull rate on these. So you guys will be able to get the Fleet Commanders through a fleet to play method. Awesome, Scopely. And then on top of that, you have the stuff to upgrade on Lorca and Sloan. To me, this is like ungodly cool because before it's paid uh, pay, uh, it's paid to do it, so it kind of sucked. And then we have the officer acquisition. So right here, again, we have the officer acquisition. We have the new officers. We have data. It should be in here, I think. Nope, we have data at the bottom. We have a Brian, which is cool. I don't care about Bashir. Hell yeah, cool. Tali, all right. Chapel, awesome. She's all right. Riker Speed, Enterprise, awesome. Then we have, I'm not sure I haven't figured out much for him yet, but Cisco, amazing. Jax, Jax Dax, which is like my daughter's name, Esri. And then we have Dashash, Dasash Talora, which is cool. So I don't have any ships ready to do it, but you take the ship, you put your Armada crew on it, you go do an Armada, and you get the upgrades in return, I believe. Boom. Got that just from building it. Boom. So yeah, the ship is gonna be an interesting ship in the game. That's gonna be mainly PvP. Really doesn't have its own loop, but it's gonna assist you in the methods of getting those fleet commander shards, which is gonna make the ship well worth it, in my opinion. Even though the ship doesn't look Star Trek like, but it gives us the items that we need to upgrade the commanders and get fleet commanders. I kind of like the idea. All right, guys, it is your boy. No one shall sign out. Peace out. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification down below. Don't forget there are donation links down below. If you do want to donate, I'd appreciate it. And don't forget, I'm streaming when I can. I love you guys. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.